Hi, I'm Heidi Manhart, a technology support teacher with the Waterloo Region District School Board. The tutorial today is focusing on Autocrat in one specific scenario, and that is to create student-specific documents to be used later with Doc Appender to append observational data to their specific documents. In order to uh, look at what this is, is, we start with a form that is our student observations and it feeds a spreadsheet but docker pender will also then send it to student specific documents we need to create these documents in order for docker pender to append to and so what we're looking at is a scenario of this one here part one where today we are going to create a student name form which will populate a class list it will um, integrate with a master template with autocrat autocrat will create student individual documents which will be housed in an overall folder. That folder in these documents later will be used by an observational form um, to append with doc appender to those specific documents. Today's purpose we don't have to have a student name form. You could just start with a class list and manually input all of the um, student names and then run Autocrat manually. The benefit of using a form is that as new students are added throughout the school year you simply add them to the form, it auto-populates the spreadsheet, and Autocrat automatically runs based on a form submission. If you don't use the form, then as a new student is added to your class, you need to go back to this class list, add the new student, and manually run Autocrat. So for our purposes today, we are going to start with this form. And to do that, we're going to start at our drive. So in the drive, uh, I think it's a good idea that you open a new folder and this is just to keep us organized um, so I'm actually going to call mine a screencast tutorial but you might uh, present it as your student observations so we've got that and I'm going to go into that folder and then the very first thing you're going to do is create another new folder this folder will be for the documents that Autocrat creates um, it will be putting them in this folder so this folder will be for my student observations Okay, so I'm, I've created that folder. Um, the next thing we're going to create to get started is a form. So we're going to go to New, More, and Forms. And this will be the form that we are going to use to actually populate our spreadsheet of our student names. So it's simply a student name form. And so our very first question will be student name. And it's going to be a short answer. Um, I am going to make it required. Whether or not you want to add additional information is up to you. If you teach Rotary, for instance, you might want to add a uh, class section, you might want to add grade, you might want to add year. Uh, for our purposes today, though, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet and simple and just have student name. So once our form is in place, we're going to click Responses and say Create Spreadsheet. And it will create the spreadsheet for us. There we go. So you'll notice in our spreadsheet we have a timestamp and we have student name. So going back to the drive, we have our student observation folder. We have a form that we're going to be using to populate our student list, our class list. The third thing that we need now is a master document. So if we click on new, we're going to go to Google Docs and open up a doc and name it once it loads. We're going to call this one a second here, sorry. And this document won't be used um, specifically by you in any way. It will be used um, by the Autocrat uh, script. And that's interesting how it renamed that on me. There we go. Okay, so what we need here is a tag. And tags are used with the uh, caret brackets which look like uh, kind of sideways triangles or greater than less than so to get those you're going to do shift on the left um, and then we are going to use the exact cell name uh, header of where our student names will, will be coming in so we're going to uh, just copy that and paste it here you can type it in. If you do type it in, please be aware that Autocrat is case sensitive and so it may not auto match if you did not put um, your titles in appropriately or if you didn't use appropriate spacing. Um, you can match it manually. If you do it exact, it'll do it for you. 
and then I press return. Now this page is set up as land, uh, excuse me, portrait. I feel like it's a good idea because I'm using it specifically with Doc Appender. I'm going to go to page setup and I'm going to change my um, orientation to landscape. Um, my paper sizes is in centimeters, so I'm actually going to take all of my margins down. Um, if you're in inches, I recommend 0.25 or 0.5. And then that way you have as much um, landscape um, use of the page as possible. You tend not to print these, um, and so it just allows more room for the information coming in uh, to be presented. In our drive now, we have a folder for the, for the documents, a document to be used, our form, and a spreadsheet. So we're going to go to the spreadsheet, student name and we are going to go to our add-ons. Now I already have AutoCAD in place. If you do not, you'll need to go to Get Add-ons and search for AutoCAD. And instead of Manage, it'll say something like this, Free. You'll click Free and then walk through the Allow screens. Once you've allowed, it'll come up with a little thing that says Working, and then under Add-ons, you should be able to find it. So once you have that there, please click on Add-ons and click on Launch. And it will come up with a um, menu on how to run AutoCAD. So this is taking a moment. This is one of the, um, I call it a heavier script, and the um, screen or the, the time it takes to process from one screen to another does seem to be significant at times. So we're going to create a new job. The name of this job is irrelevant in, in a certain respect. It does not show up in your drive. It just shows up here in Autocrat when you go to use it next time. Um, so we're going to just, I'm just going to call it Setup Student Docs and click Next. We have created a template, so we're going to say we're going to choose it from our drive. The template we're looking for is this one called Student Master Template. It usually shows the most recent one uh, first. However, if it didn't, and there it is, that's perfect. You just click Select. So our template is now here. Click Next. And it says it's fetching the tags. Um, so one of the things it's going to do is it's going to verify which sheet you're using, where the information is coming from. So it's recognized I'm getting them from sheet one. Um, I've recognized that there's a tag called student name and it's mapped to the column student name. Perfect. There's nothing for us to do. If for some reason the tag did not match, just click here and find where you want to, uh, the column name that you want to match it to. So click next. So how do you want your files to be named? Um, I'm going to use the tag student name and then I'm going to add the word observations. We are creating a Google Doc. We do want to output it as multiple documents. If you don't and you pick single document, what it does is that every row is actually added as a page in one document. Um, so we want to keep it at multiple. Our destination folder, we do want to choose a folder. If you do not choose a folder, it just goes directly into your drive. I'm all about trying to stay as organized as possible. So this is the folder that we just uh, created, Student Observations. Again, just click Select. Sorry, choose it once. If you double click, it, it thinks that there's something more um, inside the folder that you are looking for. So uh, just go back uh, and find the folder that you want and click Select. It's here. So we're going to click Next. We do not need a dynamic folder reference. We also will not need a merge condition. So we're going to keep going. We are not going to be emailing these in this instance, so we're going to keep going. Um, add or remove job triggers. Run on form submit, yes. So you must enable triggers for this project before you can add one to this job. Confirm. We're going to enable the triggers. So what this is looking for is that there is a form attached to this spreadsheet um, and that every time a form submission is made, it will run AutoCRAT. When I do the form, I always do the run on a time trigger as well and leave it at every hour. This is just a backup that if there's a glitch in the when the form is submitted that AutoCRAT for some reason didn't run, it should catch it the next time it runs um, in the next hour. Uh, this will not duplicate anything created by the form submission. So it's just a backup. Share docs and send emails. Nope, we're going to leave that off. 
Oh, I must have hit back, sorry, and then click Save. So now that it's saved, the job name will come up here, and when you scroll over, you'll see that there are four icons. Play means I'm going to force Autocrat to run. Edit, I can change my settings. Um, I can preview my job details or triggers, or I can delete it. This shows that there is a form trigger set um, and a time trigger set. So Autocrat is currently ready, and now we can just click the X. So now what we can do is go back to our form, click on Preview, and start using it. So if I start adding names now, So I'm going to put in um, a couple here. Okay, so if I go to my responses, what I should see is that there are five uh, student names here. Autocrat is set up, but it hasn't run yet. So sometimes it does require five five seconds or so. Through, um, we're going to find out in a few in a few seconds how long this does take exactly. But Autocrat will run and create the documents. They will then show up in our student observation folder when they've been created. Um, so if we go back, I thought I just saw one there coming in. No, nope, not quite yet. So hopefully these come in shortly. Nope, oh, SAMS was created, so it's been successfully merged. And the nice thing with Autocrat is it, it does give you this information. So it shows you a link to the document. It shows you the document name and that it is being named uh, the way that we had intended. Um, and it also gives us the time of how long it's taking to run. So it's about, well, it's showing only about one second or two seconds later um, that it is being created. So hopefully these other ones will also come in um, shortly. This is interesting that it's actually not showing up in the folder. There it is. So if I click on that now to double check that it too has been created appropriately, we have the name Sam Hobson Observations and we have our student name up at the top. This document potentially is now ready for part two. And that's basically how um, we have created this workflow. So you've got your form, which will populate your class list. Using a master document and Autocrat, it will create a document for each individual student. So you'll see now that Autocrat has created all of the documents, all of the links are in place. And if we go to the folder, we can see that all five documents are there as well. And these documents are now ready for part two, where you can use Docapender using an observation form and all of your observations instead of going just to the response sheet will go to the specific individual students as well.